Hello and welcome to What's Up Stratford. I'm your host, Peter Mirage. Joining me and starting our show is Alex Burgess from Ontario Works with the City of Stratford. Alex, thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Peter. So homelessness, of course, is a big topic. What are some of the things you're working on at Ontario Works? So here in the Social Services Department, we have a lot of different projects that, that we're working on and a lot of things we're, we're a part of. And a big one is uh, built for zero Canada and also the coordinated access system that we're working to implement in the community, which is a partnership of, of, a, of a lot of service providers across the community, all working together to work on a coordinated access system, which basically takes the housing resources that we have available and prioritizes them for the individuals who are in the, the greatest depth of need. So the built for zero, what it, why zero in that? What does that mean? The zero stands for functional zero, which is a, a measure that's used if three individuals or less experiencing homelessness in any given month, uh, and then those individuals experience homelessness for three months or less. So functional zero, in essence, is ending homelessness. That's the goal that we're all working towards. Uh, built for zero is looking at 2028 would be the timeline that they're working towards. Uh, but the province of Ontario has set 2025 as a goal that they're trying to reach towards. Uh, ending homelessness and built for zero is a fantastic collaborative it's all across Canada uh, there's communities that are part of it that all work together collaborative collaboratively on the same effort to work together to end homelessness Alex how would you define homelessness homelessness is uh it, it's a complex definition a lot of people see it as a very simple as it's just the individuals you see who may be sleeping rough or living unsheltered uh, but homelessness itself really speaks to individuals who could be living precariously uh, so no security of their tenancy, no security of a lease. Uh, could be couch surfing with family or friends. Uh, they could be accessing emergency shelter programs. Here in Stratford, we utilize uh, local motels. So our emergency shelter model is uh, not your typical congregate care setting you'd find. Uh, and, and you just find homelessness, is, it has many facets to it. Um, so really it's, it's that three prong or four, which is uh, individuals who are living unsheltered, those who are precariously housed or couch surfing, uh, than individuals who are living in emergency shelters, such as uh, motels or a uh, domestic violence shelter as well. So what in simplest terms would be a housing first program? So a housing first program is exactly as it sounds. The idea is get an individual housed immediately and then start working on all the other things after that an individual might need support with. Uh, quite often you hear of, of programs that someone needs to be clean for X many days before they can access that program or an individual needs to just deal with their mental health first and then they'll be suitable for housing. Um, but I think we, we kind of disregard how difficult it would be to be sleeping rough or living unsheltered and then to be trying to find yourself uh, accessing a housing program or keeping yourself clean when maybe that's the only way you're staying awake at night. Uh, so Housing First really speaks to getting an individual housed immediately and then wrapping around the necessary supports to keep them housed and working on those as they are, uh, once they're housed and working on them as they progress and they stabilize in the place that they're living. So Ontario Works, in general terms, how much does one get a month? So through OW, it's uh, quite low. So it's $733 a month for a single, and that's if they have an address. If they do not have an address, so they don't have rental costs, they would only receive up to $343 for their basic needs, um, which I think, if, as you are well aware and everyone is, that is not a whole lot of money to be receiving at any given point. A family, it's all tiered up based on your family size. Um, so a family might receive a little bit more, uh, but there isn't, there isn't a whole lot more. Your rental amount changes what you're eligible for, your shelter costs, as we call it, uh, on, on how big your family size is. Um, and it, it'll go for two people, it's about $600. For three people, it's $700. Uh, it's in those ranges, and as you see it incrementally increase, but it doesn't anywhere meet the needs of the individuals who are accessing the program, unfortunately. Just in practical terms, and just tell me what the solution here. So quick math, it's a little bit over $8,600 a year. How does somebody even afford to live with that? Well, you have to look at combining a lot of programs. So it, it's utilizing uh, different programs such as uh, housing allowances or different things related to housing allowances. Uh, it's also about looking at getting creative with the housing solutions that are available, uh, more rentier to income housing that might become available. Uh, individuals have to look at living with each other, or partnering with one another to find uh, access to affordable housing. Um, but in all reality, it's a lot of accessing of food banks, it's looking at emergency funds, it's looking at other federal benefits that might be available. It's really, it's a difficult system to navigate on a good day, never mind when you are living in, in pretty deep poverty. 
Well, Alex, thank you very much for joining us and educating us on the issues we have locally and also about what's going on federally, which is exciting in terms of this uh, zero program, hopefully by 2025. Thanks again. Thanks for having me. Coming up and talking about housing as well is Brian Erb from the United Way.